Hello. <laughs> I'm just uh, getting the boards ready. I'm not prepared <laughs> at all for this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's, I just need to do some stuff. And then we'll be ready. Nilly, 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 uh, there, nilly, there. The cute you can't know. Gooey. <laughs> can't wait to see Jim on the ski mask. Yes, yes, yes. I also have, um, I'll show you guys in a minute, but I have some new emotes. That I don't know if, yeah, you should be able to see them, because I added some new follower, follower ones. I've been waiting for this, I've been waiting for this, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, I'll just I'll just wait for more people, and then I can just I can just start. Um, Cause I do need to do. Cause right now it's still the heist board is still on uh, Daigo Ikeno, and I need to change it. But I'll just wait till I just start the actual stream.
Okay, you ready? I'm just collecting reference images. And I think I have as many as I need. Okay. Um, uh, pretend you guys don't see anything on this next screen because uh, it's still on uh, Econo One. Just need to make my PNG table up. There you go. Um, yeah, nothing. 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 Um. There we go. Okay, where's the music? Where's the music? <sighs> this is so scuffed. I have like nothing prepared. <laughs> Anyways. Uh... Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, this, this one's too dramatic. Okay, guys. What is, what is, uh, he looks a bit stretched, oh well. Yo, Rico finally had a VTuber model? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. But anyways. Stupid music, oh my god. But anyways, our, our target today is, um, uh, Atsushi Okubo. You guys probably know him, but he's the uh, author of Soul Eater and Fire Force. And the main thing we're doing today is uh, stylization. <laughs> so yes, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, too mellow. Silly man, you. <laughs> My this this stream is a bit scuffed. But it is what it is. My opera just crashed. Are you back? Okay, there we go. Whew. Okay. Maka back is still here. Get lost. I'm still reading Soul Eater right now and brought a fan service don't end. Yeah. Soul Eater's a lot of fan service. But I just I don't know. You get used to it. But anyways, before we start, um Yeah, this peak is peak. Why is my guy stretched? Can you not be stretched? I don't know why he's stretched. It's weird. It's just air, but I like it overall. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite mangas, so yeah. But anyways, uh, before we start, I have I have some new emotes. Here's the new emotes: a skull, a skull, and then I have a Macapaca one. I also have Zybon. The real ones know who Zybon is. And then, um, I also have some other ones, but I think they're still loading. But if you're a tier 3 sub, you have access to this one. You are my sunshine. Place Jimbo. <laughs> giffy, giffy. But anyways, uh, yes. Let's start, let's start. This one will be a bit tough. It's the, oh no, Jimbo is out already. Also, they need to. Yes. Also for this one, I forgot to say, but for these streams, uh, the 
Jimbo getting out doesn't do anything. I still need to fix that and figure out some way to do what, uh, do something like unique for these streams. But yeah, because they're out for the whole stream, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, extra Jimbo, where's extra Jimbo? There you go. S Super Saiyan Jimbo. There you go. He's out. But anyways, let's start. But yeah, this one will be pr this one will be very tough because stylization is kind of like really hard. You basically have to just know what the artist is thinking to do stylization. Well, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> but yeah, let's. Um, where should we start? Where should we start? Mm. One thing I do have is um, this uh, make this kind of bigger. <coughs> okay, so the first thing I noticed. I haven't had a lot of time to do notes, like internal notes and stuff, in my brain. So this is off the dome, an observation. Let's get rid of these extra panels. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Stein. Yeah, the first thing I noticed is the shape language, I guess, of um, the characters really depends on, like, the... Because I feel like stylization, especially with uh, Soul Eater, I'd say, is more, because I haven't, I haven't read Fire Force, but uh, with Soul Eater, it's like, it's more, it's just, like, because of the story. Characters like Krona have very, like, crazy proportions and like aggressive shapes because the I don't know why am I cleaning this up but yeah but because um because like her body is being contorted and or his body I think what is, what is Krona's pronouns I don't know. gender I guess gender neutral oh okay non-binary I guess there isn't they. This is they. But yeah, um. A minute. Get the cough. But yeah, so for example, this Maka. She is very like, um. Like normal, I'd say. Normal. And most of the time, she is pretty normal because she doesn't really like. For example, in the story, that she, when she she doesn't really have like black b blood, or, or like she doesn't go mad. At least as much as the other characters. Or for example, someone like Stein, which is mad. So that means angular shapes. Angular shapes. Angular shapes. And this hers is like more. Actually, there's a better way to describe this. If we do like a little thing like this, a little line. And then this is like shape. Following shape. Following. That is crazy writing. Shapes. Following. Anatomy. Anatomy. 
bro, I have this one friend who's a huge Stein simp. She is keep mentioning him every opportunity she gets and calls him her husband like this obsessive dream level type shit. It is what it is. Everyone has their favorite. I don't really have a favorite when it comes to Solita. At least that. I don't have like a die hard favorite. I really like um Black Star and um and Kid. But like I wouldn't I wouldn't go crazy. Yeah, Black Star is easily the one of the best. Dude, to be fair, this Stein is peak design. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I don't, I don't remember. Have you watched the? Uh, have you read the manga, uh, Katakure? Because there is, there's something to do with Black Star. I didn't know if you've seen or not. Oh, okay. I won't say it. But Black Star is pretty peak in the manga. But anyways, so this. So this is what I was saying. If we say, if we, um, so like, depending on, I guess, their emotional state or like, um, their, like, th the story and how, like, uh, for example, he's like mad, so he's very angular and sharp, but then she's normal, so I've already said this. You guys get what I mean? Let's write that down. Emotions and story are a factor. Stylization. To use. Yeah, Krona is also a top tier design. That design is actually peak. Speaking of Krona. There's also this. Forget this, this fella. Um, where do you want to go? We can stay there, actually. talk about Medusa I mean she's definitely not top 10 villain but my god she's something yeah she's pretty crazy of a villain I really like her relationship with um with Krona I think it's very interesting it's well written it's well well done it's well done okay so the reason I put these is because I feel like the level of detail it's strange because I was looking at uh, Okubo's art and it seems like he only really goes crazy with the details when it comes to like mad designs or like crazed designs. I didn't write that. Uh, tens to only use. So I don't know for sure. Tends to only use in a way this is more defined shading defined rendering. Characters, characters in mad maddened. How do you spell that? So double D maddened. Maddened, yes. He's badass, deaf too. He's so cool too, I guess. Maddened slash crazed. Raised state. Did, does that make sense? Okubo tends to only use the fine remedy for characters in maddened slash crazed states. 
And then we can say, because this, I think, I feel like he does this because it also adds like this weird, uncanny feeling to it. Because these characters, I feel like when characters are more, they're like not as rendered. You can just say that like, oh, they're very, um, they're very, uh, they're like cartoonish, I guess. But I feel like when a character is really well rendered, it kind of starts to board on like the uncanny side. Oh, got, got to go. We'll be back. No worries, no worries. Also, can we talk about Arch, uh, Archie? I don't, know say, I don't know how to say her name. Or if she's bad, she's the goth mommy I'm looking for. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, creates. But yeah, this kind of adds like an uncanny level to it, which I think is cool. Because there's also that one fire force panel, where is it? Which is I'm gonna kill you, where is it? This one. It isn't really the same thing. This is similar. This is similar like idea, I guess. If you can go up here, and I'll just move the writing. This is why I, I always say that, like, I think when it comes to making cool designs and cool art, I think it matters more the story. Because you can make, like, the coolest thing ever. But I feel like turning the page and seeing this, seeing this is, like, and knowing the story and also the context behind this scene. There's actually a better one of Chrono, where is it? Chrono... These like minor spoilers. Actually, not not <laughs> really minor spoilers. <laughs> but there's one panel. Oh my god, why is it look so low quality? It's a thing with Atsushoku. It's like those emo kid styles, which is childish but in an unnerving way. Yeah, I guess so. Which makes it really good. Yes. Um, create. Because I feel like this this one is different from the other one. Because I feel like this is an art heist. Yes, but it is also like, I think more of a comic heist. Also, Jimbo, return to your cell. I'll put like just just uh, Jiblington there to indicate. Yeah, you know. Yeah, what was the thing? Um. But yeah, I think this is more of like a comic heist, if anything. Because I feel like, um, yeah, what well, is what I was saying, the, the context for these drawings, like, I feel like make these, make the art a lot more, a lot more impactful and, like, punchy. Okay, look. Two characters. It's kind of like why those, you once in a while you see those memes of, like, an anime character that looks really realistic and it's really funny because i feel like oh, i don't know who said this i think it was what was his name jordan peely i think he was saying that like um horror movies and comedy are basically the same thing if you just change the sound effects and like the the build-up of stuff but it's exactly the same thing so i feel like it's it's, it's even though it's, uh, memes can be funny if they have like a, an anime character that's really realistic It can also be spooky dooky depending on the context Creates uncanny look to characters He definitely understands art rules and logic which is to draw in soul way, some soul way yes Creates uncanny look to characters and then this one this is low quality as anything but you get the idea context also matters Ow, ow. 
For example, this one as well, where is it? This, oh, oh this is so goated. This was also a really good panel. If anyone that is red, so do you know what this is? Would be wrong to say I like Firefox more than Solita. Well, it's your opinion. There's nothing wrong with your opinion. You can like whatever you want. I haven't read Fire Force, but I just like Sol uh, Solita's aesthetic more. But then, then again, I like things like Opium and really emo, goth, edgy stuff. So that's probably why. I guess. Where is it on the stone? There's that one panel of stone. Okay, this one is also an important one. Um, Kuwaitha. Sorry. Means. More body deformation, I'd say. Formation. Wait, look at these legs. Bro, it's like animal legs. Yeah, I feel like this one is more writing than anything. <laughs> There's not a lot of annotating. There's actually a bit of annotating I think, that I want to do. You can even, I think you can even see this in his earlier stuff. Because I feel like in terms of Okubo's uh, growth as an artist, it just it's more of like his deformation style, if that makes sense. It goes from like very smooth. Well, let me see if I can find an example. So, to, um, but it just goes from like very kind of round graphic looking deformation. And like these crazy shots to just like instead of kind of using the composition for uh stylization and exaggeration he just breaks the character's bodies i guess because yeah you have stuff like this in the early manga but then this this shot which is pretty plain well this shot and this this cover Position. Deforming characters. Characters. Two. Characters kind of deforming to. No, how, how, how do I word this? Characters deforming. Characters' bodies deforming, I guess. Characters' anatomy, let's say. 
proportions. The Earth's proportions. Earth is. Let's say anatomy and proportions. Anatomy. Proportions. Did you see how like this, like the proportions are crazy in this one. Like look at this. This foot is way smaller than the other one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ding. You could argue that these. Tables making sounds. Goombas. Sharp. Okay, it, it kind of seems like I, I don't I don't really know. This is the hard thing of like stylization because this this is just my interpretation. There isn't really like a right or wrong answer, I think. And um. And uh, so yeah, so nothing I say is probably even true. But just my my uh, visual assessment. I don't know. And I just see how it seems like he he realized that like at a certain point that like it just makes more sense when the characters get like more exaggerated. Just make them more like angular and sharp instead of being like really round like this one. The characters in Soul Eater so well made. Like they're innocent kids that aren't innocent. I mean they want. The best of everyone, but they already fucked up every single one. Yes. Okay, what, what else do I have in my little thing? I think this is also another good example. Where is it? There we go. Yeah, so we can look at Mm -hmm. 
I also wanted to do simplification, but I don't know. Simplification is really hard. Because I feel like if I were to, to write it down, it's just like, it's basically just this. Simplification is just them returning to, returning to monkey, aka returning to shapes. That's the that's the monkey equivalent of a anime character. They return to shapes. Just impressed that as how as how Atsuyokubo managed to make emo designs like that to seem likable. I love all of them, even the Maka. I love her. I hate her. Like since Saint the simple ass characters like that can be so interesting and badass. Yeah. That's the power of like having a character doesn't really necessarily need to be complicated to be good. And I feel like if a character is simple I don't know, you often find the characters that are simple stick the easiest in your mind and also like uh they're more interesting in my opinion. Cause then you have more freedom with how you can like turn them into other stuff. Like how Corona is just really simple, but then she can like become really detailed and exaggerated and, and have like really aggressive shapes and stuff. It's very cool. But it's, what can I do? Let's look at let's look at the art. The art. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. There's all the silhouettes. Okubo's silhouettes also very good. That's like bordering. <laughs> this is why I say that like uh, stylization is so hard because it's also composition. It's style in general. Is it? I, that's why I think you can't really study a style. It's too. It's too broad of a term, you know. I love and hate the world building too, but mainly like. <laughs> You seem to love and hate everything <laughs> to do with um to do with Okubo. Wait a minute, these guys. There you go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <gasps> Steal the deals. Hello. Oh, we we reached two hundred followers. Yay! Yay! Thank you, thank you, Steal the Deals. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Also, thank you for the water reading. We hit 200, yo. I love five force to the fullest time. Yeah, I still need to read that one. Congrats, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just clicked the same one. Uh, one minute, I don't want to spoil anyone. So just type in Okubo R. Okubo Art. Manga Art. Manga Art. There you go. I also like this stuff. His early, his early chapter, uh, like volume covers, how they have this very like crystal-like rendering. <laughs> it's really cool. I don't know how how he even came up with something like that. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I feel like I can I can kind of go on and on. What's happening? What are we robbering? <laughs> robbering, I mean robbing. <laughs> uh, we are doing an art heist on <laughs> Atsushi Okubo. <laughs> and the thing we are trying to steal is stylization. And the reason I'm doing Soul Eater, specifically, is because um, Okubo has a lot of art styles. <laughs> and his art, like, evolves a lot. And I, and I, I'm, and uh, Fire Force's art is very good, but it's not what I want. Well, red pin and everything. <laughs> yep, yep. Red pin and everything. 
Okay. But yeah, as I, as I was saying, I could go on and on about like how all oh, this leg is like this because because like it's it, he's focused more on the composition of the character, but then that just goes to following his shapes. Yes, a rubber a rubber duo. Oh, it doesn't appear for me yet. There's also this one. You are my sunshine. But yes, I think I just might go to drawing now. I don't think there's as much writing I can do on this one. As much as visual experimentation. Yes. Time to be saved. Save. How long we spend? <laughs> oh my god, barely anything. We spent barely any time doing this one. Okay, um, Pokeball. I just think style. Yeah, stylization is one of those things that it's more experimenting. So yes, there's not really much. Oh, I keep. I might as well keep that open. Yes, gloves. Yes, my socials. And also, if you want to read my comic. Oh, shoo, 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 shoo. There we go. Does the card still work? Yes, it does. Okay. Just checking if the cards still work. Yep, yep. They still work. Okay, let's go then. Hmm. Now, who do we draw? Um, you know what? Why don't I draw Medusa? It'll make Hedge happy. <laughs> Medusa is so Medusa. Your voice is so low. Wow. It is what it is. I'm the new James Corden. Where's the character sheet? Character. I wish there was like a website that com uh, compiled all of the the cap. Oh my god, the character sheets from like anime and games. I literally have all of the anime JoJo websites up just just to have like a solid place to get all of the character sheets from. From each part. He's 24 tired. He's like a dead skeleton with a mask. I'm not 24 <laughs> 7 tired. <laughs> These accusations. Okay, we have we have Medusa. Med Meduse. No orange juice, so. Okay. Let's 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 get cooking. This will be the hard part. We're entering the oven now. We're entering the heat, which is actually trying to figure out how to do this because I have I have kind of a bad habit with my art, which is which is caring too much about anatomy. Because I did do this piece. Where is it? Um. um I did this one. Which is like, I think this is the most I've ever not stuck to anatomy. But even then, I feel like this part kind of fell flat because I, I focused on anatomy. But yeah. It's just, I, f I think art is very, is more mental. You know, that's so cool. But yes, yeah, it's more mental than anything, stylization. Because something I've been realizing is a lot of the reasons why I draw is because I have... I have things in my head that is like, okay, this is how I do this, or this is how I'm, I'm meant to draw, or this is how I'm meant to like, stylize stuff. And I think it's, I mean, it's okay some, most of the time, but I think it kind of limits my creative liberty. And I'm putting like, conditions on myself, like this is an ability or something. Yo, <gasps> Lightfall. Hello. 
Don Paul, hello. I know what to read tonight now. What is that? You should read Soul Eater. Soul Eater is very good. Okay, Medusa. Medusa. More orange juice. I think I need to think a little bit. <laughs> yes. It's funny because for me the, the emote doesn't load so it just says Kyo Yuke Robber Duo. <laughs> Read five points, a very family friendly manga. Yes, with a very wholesome scene with dogs. Okay, I'm an orange juicer. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's do this, these things. Before I start carving out a head, oh, press it. We start carving out a head. I'll um, I'll just map out the rest of the body. What is this? You Medusa fan art guys? Yo, it's Medusa. Do you like do you like my fan art? Do you like it? That cat cam is menacing. Yeah. It's the whole point. To feel the fear. Hmm. That one sick fan art for real for real. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, this is like, this is, <laughs> this is like going against everything, everything I um, I believe in, in art. Okay. What does Okubo's proportions look like generally? Actually, no, it doesn't really matter. Like, this arm is longer? Maybe. Yeah, but like this one, for example. I think it needs to, it needs to have purpose. Yes, I have read the latest chapter of My Academia. Yep. Do not do not say what happens though because I don't want people to get spoiled, <laughs> especially with this chapter. This is very good though. No worries. I need to draw her within because I'm, I'm starting to like leave the canvas. But I need to force perspective onto the characters. She has a little tail. I didn't, know, I didn't have any of that. So goofy. I'm not that stupid. I'm not saying it's stupid. It's just sometimes things slip. that neck do yes we need to draw a little feet a little medusa feet mm 
What does that thing look like? Oh, it's not in here. There you go. How much of a f uh, feet are exposed? It's like from mid, mid, uh, shin. There's four toes. I think I just hide that last toe. And I'll just say it's like behind here somewhere. There's no black nails. This is literally me when I wake up. That's what I look like. These, these first ones will be a bit rough because I'm not used to this but that is the whole part of learning we need to do things that we are not comfortable with yo yo bengo hello Good to see you, good to see you. We are doing Okubo today. Like I'll show you. This is the the board. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know who o Okubo is. So I don't need to know tell you what he's famous for. But yeah, we're trying to steal his ow. We're trying to steal his um stylization. And I did this stuff. I'll post this on Twitter as well. But yes. This is the is the kind of stuff I did and now I'm trying to I'm trying to push myself up my comfort zone and just draw like the most back crazy characters ever you okay yes I just it's just my my desk I have like these drawers on the desk and I have to pull them out to have enough space on them um, on my desk to like put my arm to draw because this desk is like tiny what, what, what do I what do I do our arms doing yeah I need to learn how to take better notes than learning art yeah I think I think it's very it's very good to do it traditionally because uh, I found it when I first started doing this I started doing it traditionally with artists like um I did actually do Okubo back in uh, my college days, but I also did, um, I did uh, Otomo, Katsuhiro Otomo, creative Akira. I, I want to do him again, but for clothing folds, but yeah, I did him and um, it was kind of like medita meditative, learning more than real art classes, yeah. But yeah, I found it very, I found it very nice to, to, to do it, like, um, by myself, just like, traditionally. Because it's just kind of just, when you have a thought in your brain, like, how does this art do this? Write that down. Because I actually, <laughs> it is funny, I actually, I always think of this quote that, um, 50 Cent said. <laughs> it's 50 Cent, I don't know why. I don't know if that's funny. But he said that if... If every if people wrote down every piece of advice they'd like, they were they're told. Like if someone said, "I'm gonna give you, give you some advice," then you're like, "Wait a minute, let me let me get out a notebook and write this down." Like then most of the time you'd actually remember it and actually use it. Because I think a lot of the time things like YouTube videos and stuff, I I'd watch them, and like just just like the, in within the next day I'd forget them. And it wouldn't be very, like, useful watching videos and stuff. So. So, yeah. So, I started writing what I, wa what I watched in videos. And also what I found in my own observations. 
that cat l loads though. <laughs> what do you mean by loads? But yeah, that's like one of my my things I always try to remember because when I don't know how to do something, I always try to like uh, learn it and take notes. Jeez. Currently, just going over human anatomy and starting with the skull down. Yes, it's a very good human human anatomy is fun. Wait a minute, I just need to do this. Hello, t tootsies. It's not just a bunch of words you use. Do little knuckles. Knuckles? Well, what are these called? They're knuckles, right? But I think the hardest thing for me is right now in my art journey, I'm trying to figure out an in between. Because I like stuff like this, but I also really like like solid drawings of characters. Like um like Murata, Boichi, Otomo. I really like art like that, but I can't but I can't do it. I can't do stylized stuff like that, like this. And also have insane anatomy. Because this is this is like this, look. The spectrum. Following anatomy, stuff like this. Whoa, 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 looks so cool. And then there's also following shapes, which is the other side, and it's the complete opposite, I feel like. But who knows? Maybe maybe there's another way of looking at this. Maybe there isn't a spectrum. I don't know. Maybe I'm putting myself in a trap by looking at this like a spectrum. Yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Good luck, dude. Thank you, thank you. It's really hard to copy. Yeah. Because I feel like anatomy is kind of easy. Because it's just a matter of learning. But figuring out what you want in your art, I feel like is very hard. Because it takes a... a I think it takes a very deep understanding of who you are. This is gonna get philosophical quick, but it's gonna take. It takes like, at least in my opinion, it takes a an understanding of who you are with, and who you what you want to do with your art. Like if, for example, like if you like horror art. Maybe there's like a specific style of horror art that you like. I don't know. For me, it's getting my confidence up. Like I, I know how to do so much shit, but something in my brain acts like I don't. Yeah. Confidence is really hard as an artist. I like big ears. What does uh, these ears look like? I'm still also trying to figure out a way to do ears. Because I know I know the anatomy of ears, but it's just again, what is the like slider of realism to to like stylization that I want to turn it up to. Cuz there are parts of a realistic ear that I really like, but there is also parts of a stylized ear that I also really like. Okay, so we have general head down. What do your eyes look like? She's like very. This is this is this is Cobra. This is not Medusa. I always ask this every stream, but what is your guys like? What is your guys' goal in with art? Not like careers and stuff, but like um, visual visuals. What is like an artist you want to aspire your art to look like?
darkness hard. To be honest, I asked that, but I, I didn't even know myself. I think there's things I want to take away from every artist I like. So I don't know. What Kubo likes is ovals as well. I don't. I don't. I like my noses like this. I like them. I like this. This shape. These little triangles here. Really, really nice. Right now it's a hybrid of Tatsu Yukinobu and Q Hayashida. Oh, interesting choices. What what aspects do you want to take from them? Because they have very expression and line. I see, I see. Yeah, because Q uh, Hayashida is a very, a very like distinct line art style. It's very um expressive. Whoa, why did that line go extend so much? Since I want to be a melting pot of sorts, I'd say right now I want Tabata's anatomy, Hayashi's expressions, and Park's choreography and exaggeration. Let me just check Hayashi because I, I, I don't know if this is the one I'm thinking of. Is it, is it the Mama Yuyu guy? Is that, is that the person I'm thinking of? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, d I, d I haven't looked deeply at the art, but it's very, very solid drawings. I really like their line art style. It kind of, kind of reminds me of Witch Hat uh, uh, Adela. I think it's called Witch Hat Ad Adela. Adela. But that, that, it looks very good though. The way Q actually uses line, even his scratchy forms are so directed and orderly. And Yokinobu has a glorious understanding of expression and gesture, facial character design. They are good. Yes. Yeah, that is so true. Both artists, like, oh my god. I should do a Yokinobu um, heist. Because Yukinobu Yuki no is like a god of composition. And it's actually kind of the art style I'm, I'm going towards because it is like, it's, it's highly rendered and it's very, um, it's very, uh, I mean, it's very, uh, like cartoonish, let's say, shape based. It's hard to pronounce, but it's certainly not like that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but you guys know what I mean. Put my sto put my character story slash characters out there. Let people know and see who like it, and who and just want to s see how cool it to be. Just have something like manga or even anime. Also, I want to be famous, not crazy famous, but also level that people can know who I am. What I'm capable of, so maybe I can get good money out of it if I have some fame. Lol, it's hard to put, oh, oh, yep. um, honestly my main thing that I want is just to be able to live some level of happy and have fun with friends like actually friends yeah do one road the answer yeah I want I want to do Noki Nobu oh Yuki Nobu one but yeah that is true though I feel like every artist wants that to some degree not really me. <laughs> uh, I don't know for me for me like obviously being stability is like important and stuff, but honestly even if I was like dying, if I could draw I'd be happy. I think some people would call that a bit uh unhealthy, but I don't know. For me art is like the most important thing in my life. And I just wanna make something that like I can be proud of. And also maybe a side I don't know I would say like I want to inspire people but I don't really know if I want that you know I don't know I'm here oh missed missed we did this wait let me show you the board 
There we go. As you know, Okubo, I didn't need to, you're, you're, you're a, a huge Okubo fan. And, um, stylization is the, the target of the heist. Yishishua, how is Yishishua? Old dude, and Yashiro Manabu. Who is that? I know, I know a Yashiro, but I don't think it's who you think you're talking about. Manabu. Who is this? What what manga have they done? I've never heard of this artist. It's unheard of. Tank oh tank chair. Oh okay. Yeah, this is definitely fish call. Look at this. This is fish call. <laughs> this is fish brains call. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> this is like fish call. To the to the core. It looks very nice though. This <laughs> is such a funny idea. The disabled. Is he? I don't know if he's disabled, but yeah. He also looks. The art style kind of looks like a uh, invincible, with how like clunky every shape is in invincible. The like the blood and I always think of the blood because blood is usually very viscous. I feel like in um in a uh, comics and media. But I feel like with invincible. I don't know the name of the artist, but they do it very like blocky and you know okay, what are you guys saying what are you guys saying you already inspired me oh thank you thank you i don't know man i say that shit but i'm not really sure yeah i feel like art is just i don't know always make sure you're doing what you want now that's why i always make sure i'm doing i don't want to be making stuff just because i feel like someone else would be happy in me doing that that's what I've learned over the years. Tank show for oh okay. Yep, yep. I guess I just want people to like new ideas. Yep, it's, if if that's if that's what you want, that's that's what you want. Yeah baby, yes, yes, yes. Water redeem, thank you, water redeem. <laughs> yeah. One, I think for me. The art, the art, I want to, the art, like, level, style, I want to reach, is, um, I don't know, I'd say Tabata, Tabata is, like, one of my biggest, I don't talk about him a lot, or Black Clover at all, to be honest, but I really like Tabata's art, I like, a lot. I saw him doing the dual the dual line art thing before Jujutsu Kaisen came out, and I was like, oh, 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 "That's so beautiful! Oh, I love the dual line art. It's so nice. Yeah, his line work, oh, the whole the whole fight of uh, Asta and Lieb Liebi. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> is 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 demon? Um." Is um that that whole f uh, oh um him versus the the big demon guy when he uses the katana for the first time in um union form oh my god I have like every panel saved of that on my phone I really love that art style his art style so much oh no I'm starting to. I'm starting to render this out to folks about shapes too much. This is not Medusa, this is Cobra. Lebe, yes. I think it's just the, the eye messes me up. There are like three artists behind Invincible, and one of them I'm thinking is Ryan Otley. Otley. Yes. Never gets any respect on a timeline, yo. Yeah. I feel like Black Clover gets way too much hate. It's so annoying. Especially like knowing, I don't know, for me, I find it really respectful when like, uh, when, um, when an author has like a family and stuff. Because imagine doing a manga while having a family. It's like so crazy. That's why I don't really mind series being uh, like bi-monthly or whatever it is. Loki, hello, hello. 
welcome, welcome. We are doing, we are doing Okubo today. I'm pretty sure you know who Okubo is. And then, um, and then, uh, we did this. This. I'll post on Twitter, as you know. But yeah, I did this stuff. But I think stylization is more of a thing that you have to draw. Because you have to feel it out, you know. And, um, oh my god. Leave, like, threw my <laughs> keyboard off the desk. <laughs> my desk is so small, it's crazy. Okay, let me just get rid of your face first. It's too much. I actually need your face. Okay. Mm. I'm just gonna do the head and I'll rechat because I know some people have said some stuff. I don't want to respond to it, but I just need to lock in for a second here. Yeah, I think her has. I hope Hedge likes this because he's been asking me to draw, to draw Medusa for like I think ever since we've been mutuals, <laughs> and I'm finally drawing her. It's like most most sane, most sane Medusa stan. Honestly speaking, I would have want my kids to read my manga. <laughs> On the amount of narcissist people said about his family, yeah. Sometimes I get really, I get really annoyed <laughs> with like, um, with, uh, with anime Twitter. It's just, it's actually just like, oh my god. The amount of disrespect people give these authors is actually insane. I know it feels like in real life they wouldn't say any of this stuff to their face. Or they like, oh, let's sit down and enjoy the latest episode of Jujutsu Kaisen, or, like, um, or, like, um, uh, or this series, but then I'll just make fun of the author, or just, like, I don't know, hate watch stuff, just so I can make be uh, fun of it better. <laughs> oh, Katakyo, welcome back. Hey, anime Twitter, yeah. I'm gonna be right back, no worries, no worries. Legit garbage part of the community, yeah. Uh, what are you gonna do today, my king? Nice. Oh, VC yesterday was very fun. VC was very fun yesterday. The lads, we had all the lads. Um, but yeah, I think also another artist I, I really, I, I need to do an art heist on him definitely is uh, Togashi. Togashi is like, I think it's slowly, slowly his art style was like grown on me. Who is this? This is Cobra. This is not Medusa. This is Cobra. But yeah, Okubo is definitely one of, oh my god, not Okubo. Togashi is definitely one of those artists I want to do a art heist on. Because, I don't know, his art, his art has like been very influential to me without me even realizing. <clears throat> and I feel like I need to. This is fine. Just I need just need to. I'm just gonna do this corner quick. I'll not worry about it too much, and then I'll just write a bunch of notes, just criticizing it. Because that is the best way to learn. <laughs> Fail efficiently. That's my motto. Dude, I like I don't get it. If you don't like it, why do you hate the author? I don't know. Like a real person too. They were the person who made what you love. Yeah. Yeah, my hero academia fans. Also, Kia, how do you feel about the fate thing I added to you? Oh, also, I have not, I have not, I have not watched that. Because I wanna, 
I want to take my time with it and actually, it, it, I, have, I think I know what you, I, I've seen it, I've seen it a bit, I think I've seen it before, that, um, that Fate, uh, Grand Order, I think, I don't know if it's the game or the anime, but, yeah, I need to, I need, to, I want to take my time with it and just like actually just dissect it, because the thumbnail alone looks very smexy, and also that, that uh, panel, not panel, screenshot you sent me is very, very good. So I want to take my time with it. But I will check it out, I will check it out. It's for Fate, the Grand Order, so I really don't recommend playing the game. <laughs> oh. So we should, we should both, Kyo, we should both become the world's greatest manga writers and art heist each other. That would be actually like the greatest 180. We just see, uh, instead of Kyo Yukana, it's Dio Yubana. And he's art heisting me. What an honor. I hope Dio Yubana art heists me. I never realized Medusa has like a, a slit in her eyebrow. She's like the, the trendy kids from 2007. In like middle school. I feel like nowadays people who have like this are kind of like, are just lame ones. Because the only two people I know that have this is Aiden Ross and Sneeko. And I don't think I need to say anything else. <laughs> Not everyone can be the Kagurabachi fandom. <laughs> yes. Oh, I need to catch up to Kagurabachi. It looks so cool. I've been seeing like um the these panels with the what's the name? Mr. Mr. Kagurabachi himself. But yeah. It looks very, very, as I like to say, smexy, bon vexy. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's, there's so many, there's so many artists I need to do art heists on. There's, there's also one I will talk about in a minute, because I did say last, or like, the couple past streams I would do it, but I didn't, but I'm gonna. I'd rather have spl slit eyebrows than sharpie eyebrows <laughs> yes oh my god every every girl in england has that it's the sharpie eyebrows and it's either that or the little the little poop on the head that's what my family calls it it's the little poop on the head i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but it's the little bun on the head every girl has that I always, I always, I always remember them because they, whenever I went to a new school, they treat me like a zoo animal because I'm like the new kid and I'm also really socially awkward and I'm Portuguese. It's the, it's the perfect combo. They'd like treat, treat me like a, like a new, like a new monkey went into the zoo. My ass doll is so simple, bro. I know for a fact anyone who takes their time can learn how to draw me. In like what two or three minutes you'd think that but i think everyone no one can really tell what what um anyone thinks like i'm doing these art heists but i also wanted to state that like i'm not saying this is how they work this is just my interpretation and the whole point of these art heists is for me to take something based on my interpretation so yes i may be wrong Maybe, maybe o Okubo is watching this and saying, look at this noob. He thinks he understands me. Bro is, bro is trying to write down my process when I just draw whatever. No. Deploy your noble fantasy. <laughs> French people as well. Wait a minute. Dude, Kagura Bachi is growing on me. At first it felt like normal shonen, but now it's peaking. To be honest, I read the first chapter and I was like, this is actually incredible. That one, that one panel where Mr. Kagurabachi, like, does a full, like, spin and he slices off, not the heads, but he just, like, attacks all these people at, like, a round table. And, oh, my God. I saw that, I was like, and that one panel where he's, like, doing a squat and he's like, it's a, f a double page spread. And he's like, oh, that one's so microscopically sexy the art is amazing yes yes 
Sharpie eyebrows, fake tan and fake blonde. <laughs> Truly the worst horrific girl combo. Yeah. That is true. We don't kill people, Mist. Yeah. We don't we don't kill people, yeah. I have no enemies. Yeah, <laughs> that that Vinland Vinland saga has touched your heart. Yep. Walk of the world of no enemies. <laughs> Finland is the world where violence is the resort after last resort. And we've reached that point, of course. Okay, I need to lock in for a little bit. Not lock in, but just draw. This is a drawing stream, art stream, fart stream. We get fartiest in here. I'd really be interested to see what um, Okubo's storyboards look like, or his sketches. Because that'd be like... Oh, I forgot she has boobs. I'm sorry, Medusa. I forgot to draw your boobulals. There you go. Do your boobulals are back. Her neck makes no sense, but I do not care. I like it. I like how bad it looks. There's like a certain charm. Okay, so now the arm. Arm is very hard. I'm edgy like that. <laughs> Medusa boob on install, yeah. Kagobachi, my childhood. I remember when I was eight and woke up and saw Kagobachi, Made Boy Mapper, airing for the first time. I shed several tears. And then Mr. Kagobachi said, Rise, stand proud. You, you Peroni. Is that an artist? I, I, I know that name. You Peroni. I don't think that's an artist. Is it this guy? Is it this guy? <laughs> Mr. Kagura Bachi takes his children out for ice cream. Yeah. When Kagura Bachi says, I'm I'm sane from the plane. Yes, also welcome, Saru. Sorry, I didn't say anything. Chat is fast today. There's need for speed. Okay, I think I need to sculpt her head a little bit. Who would, who would, who would win in a manipulation game? Medusa or Makima? <laughs> I wonder who would win. I think honestly Makima is a better manipulator. Medusa just like, she just uh, used the powers and stuff. It's kind of lame. But yeah, as I was saying, arms are like the hardest part. No, because I'm not very good at arm anatomy. This is why it's very good to do biro pen drawings because my line confidence is worse than the neighbors. My oh god, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Shit, no worries. We're just saying nonsense. Medusa's pure evil villain, though. Yeah. Wait, what did Kutu kill? I'd fall to. <laughs> oh my, I'd fall to mark him in a heartbeat. I think most people would. People like, oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. You probably would. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Because I am Kyo Yukana. Whatever that means. Only, only the real ones know what that means. But I'll show you what, 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 what that means. Is it? This is this is me. This is me. It's facts, facts. Just facts. Don't question half of the memes you just saw on the side. I hate the ads, bro. <laughs> yes. 
I've been bio drawing pen fiend since day one. Yeah, I only I only saw the magic of drawing of a biro pen when I was in college, because that was it's so good, it's so good. It's very very good drawing of biro pen. I'm just I'm just procrastinating to not draw this 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 dumb shoulder. One artist I also think I should check out is um what's his name? The the uh the author of. The author of um, uh, Fullmetal Alchemist. She has very like nice art. She has very solid anime drawings, which are also kind of like this teenager, like anatomy, aesthetic. If you guys get what I mean, stuff like My Hero. Just basic, you know, the anatomy of anime characters, teenagers stuff. You guys get what I mean. You guys are smart. I'm looking at this by the way. When I'm not drawing, I'm looking at this. Eight year old older? That's that's not I don't think that's the name. Eight year old older is one piece. I think I need like a hand. Hand and then it's like, oh, you want you want you want you. what? What if her arm bent? Which way would be better? That looks wrong. It like, it, oh my god, my press sensitivity keeps dying today. I was drawing a comic all day today and it was just like dying constantly. I even had to restart. Could she have paint? What? Remember when she wrote a uh, Hunter Hunter? What? Bro, bro is reading manga on Mars. Bro is reading a different Shonen Jump. The arm's not bad. So it, oh, I accidentally also drew a nice, like, wrist. What do hands look like? What do hands look like? Bro's like a sword hand. What the hell? Okay, I think this is fine. So I've also been starting to like is this, doing this little shape. It's like a nice, nice. Uh, thank you for the water, D. Yummy. But yeah, it's a nice way to. Uh, sensitivity there's a nice way to um, what's the word to define the the my brain is just dying the wrist oh my god what is going on yeah I just forgot our names to 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 so I'm just saying nonsense no worries no worries we all we all need to say nonsense once in a while, otherwise what's the point of living? Twenty twenty four. Kill you kinda. My bad if I triggered someone. I don't think you triggered anyone, don't worry. I've probably triggered more people accidentally than you, don't worry. Let's add some like interesting shapes to our hand. But yeah, I was just drawing today, and I think one of, I think today, I think today is one of those like um, one of those um, one of those days that I just like love art. 
Do you guys ever forget that? It's just like some days you're drawing like, I love art. I'm just like happy drawing. Either that or like this. That's what happens when you have like four, what? What? How many hours of sleep do they have today? Or yesterday, technically. I don't even remember. I'd like five, five hours. Yeah, I went to bed at like four, and then I woke up at um nine today. So just, I'm, I did say I did like that, but I just lied. I just lied to you, chat. to make your fingers bony. Yeah. Er, guys, I'm triggered. Rest in peace, Nazareth. This isn't turning out too bad, actually. Not bad for this is myself. I get that when I'm listening to my favorite songs and I'm in the mood of drawing. My bad gang. You don't have to say sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You'll know if you said something bad because Jimbo will appear outside your house with a 12 gauge minigun. Which that doesn't even make any sense. I think I think all of the I think all of the Americans in chat will kill me now because I said a 12 gauge minigun. Why is he apologizing? Apologizing? It's because he said he was. I, I. Oh my God! It's getting so confusing. I was just saying who, who I didn't know who the name of the the Fullmetal Alchemist author was, and then Saru was like making jokes and saying like like uh. Oh, there's a name. It's, it's okay. It's just a joke. Who cares? Ooh, it's a nice, nice hand. Why does hand come out so nice? Really, really fun. Also, I doubt anyone in this chat is, apart from maybe Fish, but Metro Boomin dropped a new album. <laughs> and what a coincidence also, because I DM'd him yesterday. Uh, asking if I could uh, I could make some art for him. And he, he, he released an album. Do you think it's like a message? I think Metro Boomin is like listening. Yeah, I think he saw my DM. It was very epic. This is why you shoot a shot, guys. Because it worked. No, I'm an official Metro Boomin artist. Get out, Jimbo. Yes, Jimbo is released. What does that hand look like here? Yeah. I think I might add her other arm. I was thinking of not drawing it. I'm back. Welcome back, Bingo. Hope you are well in this fine evening. I have to lock in and finish a character sheet. No worries, no worries. We will have to lock in time to time. I'd much rather you guys leave and go and draw art and stay here out of obligation or something. This is a very weird pose going on right now. I'm gonna go with it. to kick. 
connect these parts together. Maybe this arm is too. She has like a really funny pose going on. What is this? She looks cautious. Like, whoa. Why you chose or choose Atsuchi Okubo? It's because I want to take his stylization. Because I'm still on a quest to figure out how to to like combine somewhat realistic rendering with bro the hand and I'm just gonna do the hand I had before but yeah I wanna actually wait a minute wait a minute I wanna answer your question I just had an idea something like this Not bad. But yeah, um, as I was saying, I wanna, I wanna combine like a. I, I don't know how many people actually were following me back then that were watching the stream, but a while ago I went on a quest to combine Boichi. And Horikoshi's art style. And that is still a quest I'm on. I wanna. So I'm just studying still different artists. And just be, figure out stylization and what stylization I like to draw. Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah, no deep meaning. I just wanna learn stylization from other artists and see how they do things. To influence my own decisions and become like a what is the the animal called? I forgot what there's there's like this mythical animal which is a combination of other creatures, I forgot what it's called. But that thing. As usual, you guys are smart, you know what I'm talking about. What does a little wristband look like? Just like a little swirly thing. Mahoraga? Chimera. Yes, Chimera. Mahoraga as well. But yeah, I was, I was thinking primarily of Chimera. Oh, it reminds me of, of Chimera and Ark and how peak Hunt Hunter is. And how much I want to rewatch all of it again. Bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Birds, birds are known to to consume other things and combine with other species to create the strongest bird. The ultimate life form, the bird. Okay, what does a snake thing look like? So goofy, it's like a little. Rawr. I also want to do Araki at some point. I don't know what I would take from Araki. His art is so like um. Jojo, by the way, if anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about. His art style is so like crazy. It's like one of my favorite art styles of anything ever. I don't know what I'd take from him. Maybe he's un unheistable. With his vampire techniques. He's become unheistable. What do your things look like? <laughs> Also, for people, Keirana would be cool. Oh, yes, yes, thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna talk about her in a second. 
But yeah, for anyone that, is, that, that I haven't shown this to yet, we have new emotes. We have new emotes. I've also gone rid of some of the other ones, but we have new emotes. There's also, if someone becomes a tier 3 sub, they have access to the... You are my sunshine. Uh, Jimbo. So, yeah. But Kaorana. Okay, so the reason... The reason I actually, um... I was gonna do her today. But the issue... The, not issue, but... The reason I didn't do her is because I wanna... I wanna, like, um... I wanna get, like... It, it's kind of funny, because I'm doing the... The master. And then I'm doing the student. Because I don't know if how many people know, but... Kaorana was a was a assistant to Okubo and after Fire Force ended I think she released Gachi Aikuta and it's like a story <laughs> but yeah the skulls yeah but yeah I wanna I just I just left it because I feel like she is she is on another topic. If you're on a story though, I haven't I haven't read all of Gacha Kuta. Is is good is good, but I do agree that there are some parts I feel like are a bit. It's not the best. It's not the best like thing I've I've ever read, but it's not bad either. There's some interesting things, and I feel like the world and the characters are cool. It's one of those shows. That, like, the story doesn't really matter much. At least for me. I don't really care much about the story. Because I like the art. But, yeah. Uh, she... The reason I'm probably gonna do her, because... Also, I'm streaming on Friday. Uh, sorry about yesterday, guys. I am... I am... Uh, was working on Kino Fukatsu. And I want to get the chapter out by next week. So I'm going into overdrive mode. But that, that still means though we have a stream on um, Sunday. The Sunday one is still going. And I'll do I'll do Kaorana then. But yeah. The main... Because the thing is I want to... I want to study her... Her rendering... And how she renders on stylized characters. Because that is also another topic I want to delve into. Because it's something I'm not very confident with. And she is very good at. So. Yes. And I feel like for this one I want to do stylization pr primarily. And I like her stylization but I think it's too... It's too like um I just copy and paste this. It's a bit of a lazy bonitis, but I don't care. But yeah, I like I like a stylization, don't get me wrong, but like it's not the type of stylization stylization I like. It's very like organic and like um like fluid, I guess. I mean, the music is really loud for me. Oh, my ears. But yeah, it's very, it's very organic. But I like stylization. It's very blocky. Like a uh, Okubo, specifically this era of Okubo. So yes. Also, if any of you know any artists that are like good at blocky stylization, please let me know because I I think I know some like Street Fighter artists, but that's just it. Yeah. Is the first chapter out? Yeah, there's quite a lot. I think it's into the hundreds. It's into the hundreds now. Sagachi Aikuta, like this. How do you spell it? Gachiya Oh, look what. Okubo and Iran have two different extreme stylizations, yeah. Yes. 
yes, that's true. Okay, Medusa. Alright, then Danek. Danek is no. It doesn't look like it's connecting to a body. One in doubt, Joel Gojo. <laughs> yep. Yes. Funnily, funnily enough, uh, Gigi is actually not so I don't want to do. I don't know, I like Gigi's art, but I don't think there's anything I want to take. So. <laughs> no, about your project? What, what do you mean, project? My, my comic? Talk about my comic? Katakiro, oh, yes, yes, yes. You told me to Katakiro. I've also gone into the habit of scrolling through this Chinese, uh, I think I showed this last stream, but this Chinese social media that is very, that is very good for fashion. Uh, fashion stuff and I've just been getting in the habit of just going every morning on there for like a solid minute or so What no no a solid minute like a solid five minutes or something. And it's very useful Because I don't know gets my brain thinking more than usual Yes, oh, okay Whoa. <laughs> uh, um, My uh, one minute Jimbo go back uh, If you want to read my comic <laughs> It's here, the link, sushi shushi. I have 12 chapters out right now. And 13 should be out. By... If the end of next week or... Or the week after that. So t 22nd onwards. So by the 21st, or if not, then within the 22nd Monday week. Yes. I can run it by YouTube Q if you want to see it. Yep. I don't know, mind. DM it on Twitter. Because I don't have my Discord open right now. I got to go. It was nice. It was nice watching you enjoy you. Oh, that's so much fun, thank you. No worries, no worries. Good luck with stream, thank you, thank you. See you, Nazareth. See you around. Also, hope, hope you are feeling better because you were sick yesterday. Hope you are feeling better, my friend. Okay, um, she has a tail. I've got a tail. I feel like it should go back here. And then like true. I think 3D has like burnt my brain because whenever I see an edge like this, I always think of my uh, old uh, uh, games design teacher in college. And he would tell me like, oh never leave never leave an edge like that. You always need to bevel it. And beveling is basically when you have an edge like this, and then you do this to make it like smooth. But I'm just, but I think nowadays I just get like it just like hurt my creative brain. Because whenever I see an edge like that, I'm like, it has to be smooth. weird there's a googly moogly neck I've ever seen one okay, she needs a little little dragon snake thing coming out of mouth Like that. 
black lightning. It's hockey. It's a hockey snake. What the hell? Oh, push in city. Come on. Thicken the base of the snake. Make him nice and strong. So he can support his family of five snakes. She was so scary back then. Do Medusa? I think she's scary all the way until the end. This is a pretty spooky dooky character. Oh, this is gonna be tough now, the rendering. I'll do another one after this as well because this is this is a very quick drawing. Um, where's, where's the gap? There's a gap somewhere. You. Oh yeah. Oh no, there's another one. There we go. Kind of funny because I feel like I'm slowly returning back to my old art style and like early Kyono Fukatsu days, which is good, very good, because that is what I want to return to. Because it's it probably what the best style. I feel like it was just bad. It was just like my lack of skill that made it bad. I think. But the idea of it was good. Okay, she has a black, black thing. To make just a void. I think the void would be cool. That's how I view a lot of my progression. Yeah. Which is kind of nice, I don't know. Because I feel like when you're a kid... It's what Picasso says, right? You, it's hard, it's easy to draw, but it's hard to draw like a child or something like that. No. Picasso, twenty twenty-seven. But he said something like that. And if he didn't, then I'm trademarking that quote. I'm sorry, Picasso, maybe. I'm just looking back to what you used to do, build mastery. Yeah. I feel like when you're a kid, you you know what you like. It's like I like this thing, I like that thing. You don't really care about like what is technically correct. I feel like it is the peak human. As you know, when you're a kid, you're very ignorant, which I think isn't very peak. But the people in the Matrix might know. Whatever that means. Hmm. I like a green, greenish. Oh my god! Sorry for all the chair noises. Is my chair slowly just starts going back? Sometimes it's not very, not very pony-like, if you ask me. I 
how long this episode will be of our heist. I think the second drone will probably take up more, all of the rest of the time. 12 hours, yeah. Let's shoot for 50 chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her the most beautiful green hair you've ever seen. Are you ready chat? Are you ready? No, I'm So beautiful. Oh, oh. She kind of looks like Gumi now. The Vocaloid. Let me move the mic closer. There you go. It's okay, she has like a mustard. Seven point five hours plus new new kid TV show is good. Yep, it's already here waiting. This is this is uh, Medusa if she was a snake. Would you say if she ate the snake snake fruit in one piece? Skin. I'm gonna go and that her actual skin color. Bro is an alien. What is his skin color? He's like yellowish. Yes. Oh, I really like I really like the aesthetic of like um old shows in the early two thousands of like uh Like a uh, Full Metal Alchemist and uh, and um, Soul Eater. I really love the aesthetic so much. Oh my goodness! I should do an aesthetic heist on that. <coughs> Yes, thank you. Arakawa. I remember now. I'm also trying to incorporate the stuff I learned from the last heist. Otherwise, all of these would be pointless. It's the great Tim Burton would say. Her eyes are the same, the same uh, color. The same, um, yes. classic, uh, like early 2000s anime, where they always had like the same color for their eyes and hair. I kind 
kinda like it also when they have darker eyes. I think that's very cool. Green, it's good look that green. It's good green. Good green. What oh, is that good green? Let me see. It's too green. More yellow. Yep, there we go. It's the eyes more. I need to watch the anime of Solita. I've only ever like read the manga. Never watched the anime. Wait a minute. Oh my good Ligunches. I've made a, a mistake. It's my get my my goat Okubo. Yes, yes. Hey, here is the here is what we did today. Also, hello, Neko. But yep, this is what we did today. We're doing um stylization. And yep, uh, we were doing these things. I'll post on Twitter, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The stylization is more something you learn by just drawing. So, yeah. Don't at least listen to the Ost. Yeah, I've, I've I've listened to the opening. I really like Paper Moon. It's one of my favorite like anime songs. As the kids say. I really like I really like Paper Moon. This is kind of mid, mid, um, mid, uh, bicep and then elbow, elbow, I mean, um, you know, Trying to mix the vibe of the fate thing I showed you the Gojo is quite difficult. Oh my god. Yeah. That is quite difficult. I think it's more it's more about the the rendering, right? And also getting a clean line out style to get the anime look. Baku saw you met it. No one of you. Oh I don't know those. I've I haven't I haven't watched Soul Eater, so. I do not know what, you know, the openings are, when you read it. I also might, I think I might read uh, Fire Force at some point. Because Fire Force is, because the manga looks very cool. I've seen some of the stuff they do and like it looks, it just looks so cool. Those are two of the endings. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, bangers. Need to check them out at some point. Very cool. Very cool. Buckasaur is a floating number. Force gets bonkers. I got jump scared by it. <laughs> oh my god! I honestly don't blame you. I've gotten jump scared as also by my manga before. I got jump scared by uh, blood on the tracks. That is a very dis disturbing manga. I do not like that. That that one's a bit hard to read for me because the manipulation is a bit like. Uh, 
those are some very weird scenes in it, but uh, it's, it's a very, it's a very interesting manga. I don't know if anyone's ever read it. Blood on the tracks. It's a very, the art is good though. Art is very good. some of the fights I've 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 uh, I used to watch um fire force when it was weekly both times so I'm I'm caught up uh, the fight the show fight oh my god that is such a good f episode I remember when that came out I was everyone's like David productions is a good David productions like just does doesn't uh, I feel like they don't get enough credit such a good animation studio what's the title of this one a blood blood on the tracks this what's, what's your favorite fire force character Favorite Fire Force character. Ugh. Benny, I think either Benny Maru or or Arthur. Benny Maru, or Arthur. I feel like I'm missing someone though. Show Show is also really good. The whole the whole thing of um of um uh the his little shoes. Oh. Oh my god, the evangelist shoes. This is so cool. I love that so much. Okubo is actually a goat for that designer. Just, just making me think about it like brings me to tears. It's so good. They did Jojo to me, yeah. Yeah, they did Jojo. Arthur fans, this was Arthur doing my favorite, of course. Of course you'd like one of the only characters that uses a sword. <laughs> but I don't blame you, he's very he's very peak. <laughs> he also looks really good. More saturated. I'm afraid of the colours. I need to embrace the colours. <laughs> of course, of course, nobody nobody finds out. Okay, I'm gonna draw Let's try something with a uh, just lessen the opacity a little bit. A little bit. Let's make this like white, so I know why I'm editing. These crazy kill you kind of techniques. way to do lighting but why do you not care what do you guys I don't know if I've asked asked this before but what do you guys think is like an underrated underrated manga uh, like um manga anime underrated series let's say underrated series what do you think is an underrated series Maji. Yep. Yep. I've said that one quite a lot, so makes sense. I'd I'd obviously say Hitman Reborn. I feel like at this point, Hitman Reborn is becoming not like um not uh he's becoming not like underrated because of how how well it's known for being underrated if that makes sense it's popular and it's well known because it's underrated because <laughs> i feel like every time someone says what's an underrated series is hitman reborn i'm dead on luck oh also hello utas utas d lean <laughs> hello utas d lean welcome welcome i'm dead on luck I've, I've got to catch up with under on luck oh i like this this looks this looks this is mixy like a early 2000s anime 
dun dun dun. Yes. To be honest, though, I think it is pretty. It's getting there, though. It's getting popular now. I think it just needed some time to more chapters come out and also an anime. There's loads of people talking about the anime now. And I think most people know, like, oh, this is a series that's quite popular. What's up? Hello, hello. Sakamoto Days. Yeah, Sakamoto Days got really popular. Sakamoto Days, if it wasn't that popular, though, it definitely is. Because I feel like in modern manga, it's, it has probably the best, if not some of the best, uh, choreography and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Is very good. It reminds me of like um old, old uh action, or uh, Chinese action movies, Hong Kong movies. That's what I meant. Same with Dungeon Machine. And they don't like this game. Yet. Yeah, underrated one for me, but it'll be Burning Effect. Yeah, it's always still a series. It doesn't matter if it's a manga or not. But just there's I've I've heard of that one as well. I used to what I used to read one called Scoob and Shag, which is pretty kind of peak. That one's pretty peak. They're probably they're probably getting copyrighted to hell and back though, especially the Disney characters. And also they're making a bunch of merch off of it, and they have a Patreon. And I don't know how they're not getting like destroyed by Disney. I guess it's not popular enough. Okay, let's see how this looks. Ooh, shushu This is what I call a smexy lunar event. Oh, take me back to 2010 when anime looked like this. I had like these cool colors. Like I really, I always think of uh, Zoro's trousers in pre-time skip One Piece. How they're like, uh, they have a green, they have a green shine to it. It's like, oh. scoop and shag is a peak, you know. I also one thing I want to do at heist on is trigger. I really want to do one on trigger because that is a very good stylized stylization study. But I do not I do not know which one I want to do. I was thinking killer kill or Gurren Lagan Lagan however you say it. Lagan I say Lagan. But yeah. But then killer kill also has a lot. Of really good like shots and art. Not no. Tough decisions. Tough decisions. <laughs> what if I did like a little stone path underneath them? Huh? Kind of looks like one of those artworks that you'd get like on cards. <coughs> Peak the kill, you know. I think Killer Kill gets a lot of hate because of how like it sexualizes women, which is like yeah, I do agree that is like a bit crazy. Killer Kill is a bit crazy of that, but the character designs and like art and the story is so good. I really like Killer Kill, and also the music. It, was it Yuki Hayashi? I think Yuki Hayashi did it. Did the music for for um Killer Kill. But that was it's so peak. I remember watching it for the first time. It's nostalgic. I thought it was so crazy the the shot where Gamagori goes through the the door in like episode one. I was like, oh my god. That is so cool, I've never seen someone do that with uh, like stylization and stuff. It's just so dumb. But it is cool.
Please my mind the first time I saw Killer Kill episode one. Yeah. It's got such a strong visual style. If I if I think if I did uh, art heist, it'd just be on like um the entirety of Trigger. Trigger has too many good good shows to just pick one. Cause there's also uh, Gurren Lagann, BNA, Edge Runners. Edge Runners would be really good. There is a lot of good shots in Edge Runners. things happen at the same time yeah it's been a while since i watched a killer kill but it's still so vivid in my mind even though i've watched it once See in uh, from at all, but not from at all, it's Soul Eater. I haven't even watched uh, Soul Eater, so it's gonna be interesting. Oh, sure, 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 sure. So I don't know, uh, did you send the drawing mist? I don't know if you sent it or not, or you still work on it. It's early, you did say you want me to take a look. Send him yet? Got stuck on his face way too long since just a sketch. Oh, no worries, no worries. Send it whenever you want. I like kind of like this path. It's going, going nicely. Maybe like a little background as well. It's like a sunlight, sunlight. This. <coughs> I don't know if this looks weird though. It's 
I feel like it'll be too dark. Yeah, I think it'll too be, it'll be too dark. This palm is good enough. I'm just gonna do some light for the shading and then we'll you know who should I draw next? Maybe Black Star. I've already done Corona ages ago. I don't really feel like doing the Corona. Oh, we'll figure that out after we, you know, actually finish this Medusa, my orange juicer. Purple looks nice. I think purple is always a nice go to go to shading color. I wonder if I did this with the lines. I feel like it's too much though. Anything is the opposite way around like this. Oh yes. Oh, I like this. It's a classic anime. Classic anime style. Well, oh, that kind of goes hard. No, no way. Not on the top. Not on the top. Just the corner. This is a Medusa. I'm not orange juice. I keep making that joke. Let's stop. I did like a little something like this. Because I like to call it sunlight, sunlight. It kind of makes me want to do webtoon colorings. But doing webtoon colorings takes so long. It's like a whole nother day of work. Which I don't know I don't know if I want to do yet or not. something this drawing is actually coming out pretty cool did not know I had this power to stylize things like this it wasn't really fully colored to keep no save that for next generation that reminds me of a drawing I I never finished because of color yeah color feel like you're having fun and then color hits and like boom Actually no, not for me. I would I would say that but not not for me. I, I really like coloring. I don't know, I feel like I've I've started to like colours more and more. In the past I would just throw on a colour and just like hope it works. And I'd get more obsessed with things like the rendering. But as time has gone on I I kinda like the process of like picking colours and um making like seeing how the mood changes and how like a piece completely changes depending on what colors you use 
I just think every part of art is cool and fun. But definitely in the beginning is very is very annoying and, and frustrating. Especially when like or at least the, the times I get annoyed with it is when I don't really necessarily need to focus on the colours. It's like I just wanna focus on the rendering because this is just a practice or something like that. I always do it with the colours. <coughs> Shading on her. Watch, I like a simple one on the shoulder. But maybe if I just completely shaded out this arm, it'd look cool. Ooh, maybe. Adds contrast. It makes the. adds depth to the drawing. So maybe it looks good. There's also this, I can do this because of the, the shading scenario. So I've got one One Piece episode with Katakuri versus uh, Luffington. I don't know if I like that though. I might just do something simple. Shading. Oh, my back is not good. It hurt. Shading this, but this one you got this. If I want to do maybe actually, mm. I want to try something. Is 
I was looking at some clothes today and I saw a cool thing of colors. Right there was a blue. I'll show you guys a lot of this clip because I have the image on now. It load, it load. It was like sub, it's kind of like a subsurface scattering esque phenomenon. Phenomenon. Where is it? There we go. My Discord is like having an aneurysm. Well, where? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are you not? Why? Why are you not? Why are you not? Why are you not? Why are you not? Why was it not working? Some goofy ass PNG tuba. Was this? But I'll show you guys. This, this is a very cool thing I found out recently. Now my crypt shooter paint is bugging. The world is against me in chat. The world is against me. Who's this? Look, look at this. It's very cool. I don't know what this is. So this is a photo. I thought it was actually a drawing from far away. It looks like a painting. It's actually a photo. It's low quality, but if anything, it makes color picking easier. So we have this. This is the color of the thing. The fabric. And then we have the shadow color. But then... In between, who is this? Nani? It's a weird color. And it's interesting because this one, these are basically the same. If you look at. Um, if you look at the color. Wait, I'll do the whole screen. <clears throat> wait, you guys see, look, this is the same color, sort of. It's just different like um values but then this is like it just doesn't really actually translate very well but and i think i color picked it wrong <laughs> but this is meant this is more here in this direction whereas these two the this one and this one these two are like more to the left it's interesting so i want to try and emulate that with this one or at least do like more interesting stuff with subsurface scattering. Because I feel like wait a minute, let me send a message. <laughs> but um yeah, um uh, I wanna I wanna do more stuff with like experimenting. Long story short, yeah, I want to do more stuff for experimentation because I feel like I always, when it comes to subsurface scattering, I just put on a red or blood orange and then just like, you know, just do it, do it to it. I feel like it, it gets a bit like monotonous and lazy in my opinion. If I do it too, if I just like, just do the same thing always. So I want to branch out. I think that's why I have to encourage myself to do more is be more creative. Because I am a creative. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. My condolences. So we have this purple. This looks, doesn't look too bad. Saturate? Ooh. Ooh. What about green? If I would do this normally, I'd, I'd be like, let's go with this one, and then like this, like, whoa, what's up, sub scattering, guys? Woohoo. This looks kind of lame on this one. I kind of like the purple. The, the Murasaki looks good. There's gray. This is not gonna look bad. I just got rid of all of it on the face because I don't like how it looks on the face. Mm, it doesn't, doesn't look too bad. Maybe. Maybe then a little 
shine. You can add a little, little shine. Let's color pick though. The only reason I use multiply for shadows is because it's easier to do this instead of color picking every single color and figuring out the shadow for each one. Let's multiply just quick. Where's this? Go in. Go in. Where's this? It's actually just the same color of the shadow. It was microscopically interesting. A different color though. Where is this skin color? Green. Finally, somewhat finished. I'm happy to see other multiply layers first. Yep. I used to actually use linear burn, but I feel like it's too aggressive. Like basically every single time I use it. So I just stopped using it. I like multiply better. It's easier to. I feel like it's more. You can play around more with the colors. You can make it intense or you can make it soft. A lot better than you know linear burn. Finally, somewhat finished the sketch. Nice, nice. If you want to send it, then do so. I like to make a little green. A little green. Shine. I feel like shine works on the face and the round objects. But then after that, no. But after that, it just starts making everything look really lubricated, which I don't like. I'm not, I don't want to lube up my characters. Thank you very much. Everall. To give up a dog in him, yeah. I heard Katakyo slayed five million dragons with just his left toenail. You can ask him, but you know, send it to the book. Yeah, use. I'm just in time as well because I just finished this, so we can look at Mist's incredible artwork. I'm sure. Six million. I don't know what part of what number I said for you to say 6 million, but because I've already forgotten what I said. But yes. I think I have short term memory loss sometimes. I have like no idea what I say sometimes. It's, it's a bit concerning. 
canon catechia law. <laughs> yeah. Bro, bro eats dragons for breakfast with his mighty. He defeats him with his mighty sword and sits upon a log and stares into the horizon and says, Today is a beautiful day for farming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that Medusa thing. I think I like this over. No. Wait, hard light? Give me the light. Give me the light. No. Linear burn looked cooler. It looks like you read, you know? Just look. I will just finish up this Medusa, then we can look at Mist's artwork. I can guarantee Mist is cooking. Yes, you'll see that. It's good to hear. I was actually thinking of doing a stream like that, but I don't know if it's I don't know if anyone would send any artwork though. That's why I just like send in my uh or just people just send their art and then I just do what some changes or something. But I don't know if that makes any sense if anyone would like that. I also think it's a bit preposterous, I don't know why. Very low self-esteem. I change the color of this. Basically shows everyone how you work and your entire process. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm looking at the anime one. Why am I looking at the anime one? I should be looking at the manga one. She looks like a little rap scallion. What does Medusa, Medusa look like? Little rap scallion. Oh. What is this? Oh, you're the same color. This is not good. Oh, I put you on the same layer. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Whoa, what is going on? Do you guys see that? Look. What? There's like a... There's like a me... What? That was really weird. That was like... It was really pixelated for some reason. I don't know if anyone else saw that. It was just me. What color are you? Oh, it's the Viva La Cuba. Down right here, Bacardi. I just think of new uh, moves I see. Moo underscore art on Twitter. 
I'm sure they need a shout out for me though. There's like 20 players in here. There's probably a lot more. Is huh. Do I like that? No, I don't. There we go. Okay. I have, I haven't even saved this once. <laughs> Let me add my signature and then just. It's very graphic, graphic design looking. Medusa. Medusa. Okay, I might do one more thing. Could go on a show, you know. Might just lighten up because I don't really like how intense it is on the top. There you go. That's good. Just export PNG. I'll export time lapses later. Time lapses right now would would make my computer go bye bye. Okay let's go see them. Let's go see what mist is cooking. The little mist fella. Flackest fella. This sketch, of course. Very cool, very cool. Oh, wrong one. Here's Mist's epic artwork. Very epic. Why is, why is the blue things on his, um, on his, like, cheeks, eyes, cheekbones? Giving him markings like your bro. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I don't know what your bro is. <laughs> That's very cool though. It's like Fox mode. Gojo. It's pretty cool though. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um. I think there's um, a lot I do. The one thing I see is maybe this here. Um, because this, when the shoulder goes up, the meat bunches up. So it starts like to compress, so maybe something like this. Yours one slopes up, right? Yaparino is a cool, Yaparoni is a cool way of saying yep. Yeah, yep. As a as a true Kyo underscore you kind of fan. Everyone has to have their own way of saying things in cooler, more epic, cool ways. Yeah, I needed your input on the muscles mainly. Okay, muscles. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Yeah, I think this this, this part is a tough area. I, even I struggle with it. Let's let's look at some real life examples. Body builder man. This is fine. I think it's just this. 
this part. It's just the shoulder. Maybe like bulk it up a bit. Yeah, it's nice mass to his army laws. What about do you? Do you want me to help out with the thing? Oh wait a minute. There's also something here I need to do. Is the head? Um, the head I think is a bit. Um, is a bit on the on the left. So I don't know if you want the proportions in a specific way, but the, also the proportions are a bit... They make him look more younger. Because his head is pretty big. There's something about the head. Was... Yeah, I think also, it's just this, I feel like it's drooping a bit too low. You got you got this, the, the idea right, but I feel like it could be... Like emphasize the the thing more. Um, like this. Let's do that a bit. Like this. Oh, the form is a bit. I messed up the form a bit. Goju looks majestic, yeah. He looks very ethereal. And also something I do is build out because the way the way the, the deltoids work is so this is the head. Then you have his little his little pecs, is the nipples. And then um the deltoids are kinda like this. They're like this. And you have a muscle going back here that goes and then this is the back. Look, let's go. Let's go back time. Uh, so then you have the neck, and then this this muscle here, it like goes like this, and then it goes like like that, and that, and then you have the the back muscles and whatnot. So right now this is this muscle here, but if you see the deltoids, it has three segments. Look, let me let me show you. Deltoids. Um, see look it's free free little guys and especially because I think del something no that's bi it's because bicep not deltoids but yeah um especially like bigger p p people let me see if I can find an example I feel like your it, it, it kind of makes sense for this uh, I'd see why you wouldn't because like for example this guy no not this guy uh, yeah like this I can't can't really see it but his arm is going back or if you see maybe you can find someone his arm is going back um, but yeah m some people have like defined Especially if, I don't know, because Gojo has, uh, I feel like he has a big arms, I don't know. If he, if, so basically if he was buff, if you want to make him more buff, just add that. If not, then maybe, actually no. I would stay still add it, because the arm is going back. And when your arm is going back, uh, your, uh, your muscles on your like neck shoulder area start to go up so they start to like reveal more i guess so just like a nice little little bump here like it just wait where's the other one the other one i did yeah like that it just helps to find stuff not like they're pushing out yeah no way did you want me to help with the abs in any way And also, uh, one, one other thing I do, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me... Okay, I'll help out the abs. 
Um, one thing I'd say is the neck. The neck, like if we isolate the neck shape, it's like this. Like let's say this, this is the head. So this is the head. I'm an artist. Absorption error. I want to help with everything that you. I want to help with everything that you can. You think you can help with? Okay. I'll do my best then. Okay, this is the head, and then if we isolate the neck. Like the muscles go in, like this. So it's just it's kind of like a shape like this and this and then if you had a chin beautiful mewing chin this is a crap example but basically this um if, uh, especially if in a pose like this i feel like it's nice if you like make the line go inwards but let me do an edit on top so you can go back and forth Like this. Use, use, use. There we go. And also, in general, I think now that I look at it, I think also um the whole all of the pecs could be moved up. this and this one usually when there's like the pecs these are the beautiful pecs there's the nipples shoulder usually when like one moves up the other one stretches so let me do a little diagram so yeah and then it stretches well, actually, both of them have to stretch. Actually. Yeah, it starts to go like this. And this one as well. They start to, like, stretch. Just, I don't know. Try and use your own body's reference, I think, also helps. Because you can do the motions. Like, here, I think, it'd be like um, this. It'd stretch out a bit more. And then, um, I shall do edits on top because then you can just flip through them. I already did this permanently, <laughs> but you have the original. Okay, with the abs, let's go abs of this, the whole area. So we move this. This is a good, this is a good one. This is good. But I need to move this one. I'll actually just move the one because I changed the. Yeah, I'm editing mine as you s as explain things. Okay, nice. But yeah, the main uh, with this part, one thing I always like to do with abs. So with abs, there's. There's four. Actually, that's that's a lie. That's a lie. I just lied to you, chat. There's um. Usually, aim toys give the characters some fat around their ab area, makes them more feel, feel more natural. Yeah, that's true. It's a good a good idea. But yeah, this. So the abs, the abs are actually just like most people just have a six pack like this. And you have this, and then this. And then you have the the little little fella in his hands, but we shall cover him with a leaf for privacy. But yeah, usually people have this, but some people uh, like that are really crazy for some reason. Develop the these two muscles and create an eight pack. Yo, but usually it tends to be this is a really bad drawing. Don't know. But is the deltoids? <laughs> deltoids, I mean pecs. Yeah, something like that. But usually, this is like this one's like this. But if you want to make characters more naturally, naturally like um, 
I guess, muscular. Uh, I just say free a uh, six pack, and then the six pack kind of droops down into the the nut sack. Yeah, because if, if we see actual bodybuilders, see, look, look at this guy, look at this fella, this fellow, let's name him Jim Bagginson. Jim Bagginson is free, and he has like it, it, these aren't developed, but then this guy. See, look, this one's a bit more developed. Um, let's type in 8 pack. 8 pack. Yeah, see, okay, this is like a weird. This is a, What the hell? But yeah, you see how these people have like. What? This is a weird image. This scares me, that one. But yeah, you just, you, I think you get what I mean. You get what I mean? He's like, you get what I mean? But I'd usually just pit, stick to. Uh, I think I did this wrong though. I'm like the worst teacher. <laughs> this is why I don't teach. Okay, yeah, I did this wrong. I did this wrong, yeah. I was just missing one row of abs. Yonky, donkey. Just missing one row of abs. <laughs> yeah, there's always a layer right below the six pack. And also, I'll just get I'll, I'll just get onto it on this one. Usually, what I do is so there's like the diaphragm I think. Diaphragm. I usually put it like the first layer of abs is in the diaphragm. That's it, it, anatomy, especially in the chest, is up to preference because people's chests all look different. And, um, like, I like it like this, but some people, because I, I learned from Boichi, and Boichi usually does that. What's a character that punches? Punches? Bucky? Bucky? I don't know. It's a very random <laughs> character that punches. But yeah, um, oh, my, my body is breaking apart. But yeah, there's di many different ways to do it. I'd also... I think, for me personally, I'd extend his whole body a bit. His whole torso, because it looks a bit short. So if I were to apply anatomy onto this guy, this fellow, I would um, I'd do the first layer of abs up here, and then the second one, third, then after the third there's the belly button, and this comes in and does this. I usually, I like, I really like defining muscles individually though, so you can choose how much you want to reveal with this stuff. something and then, yeah and then because of this trousers go up and stop around here I think that is the average I feel yeah it's just below your belly button the trousers usually stop and also this um, because the because tech because of the position he's slightly to the left he's like turning to the left the perspective or like one peck is on top of the other one if this is the camera 
this is an amazing camera but this this like peg is technically in front i don't know if that makes sense if i if i exaggerated it, it would be like this so it's blocking the view of this part if that makes sense so technically it will basically just be like this <laughs> that was a very long-winded explanation you just say draw one line but yeah also i'd bulk out his shoulder a bit more and something i like doing is um is to the chest deltoids are this and then the, the shoulders and then there's also this shape they kind of go like this and then you're pushing yep no please but it has this shape and then because deltoids go like this it kind of has this gap where this is the bone and this is the sh like strip of meat so like if we because you see sometimes like people have like these gaps so let's let's find a bodybuilder that has a i always use bodybuilders because their muscles are extreme see look this guy this fellow you can see clearly what what is going on and but then I don't, this is not okay this is the same guy but then there's a gap i don't know if you can see but there's a gap where the muscles don't go and what ends up overlaying it is the skin look here oh my god bro is hope i don't get like killed by twitch for showing a bunch of shirtless men what the hell See, look, you see how there's like a little divot here. So, yeah. So, that usually. So, I just curve this a bit more. If we're speaking more anatomically. We'll just kill Twitch by it, you know? Yeah. Um, see, look, it'd, it'd leave a gap here. Really had to do one. And it goes. And then the clap. Is it clavicle? Some people count the days. Let me check clavicle. Clavicle. Yeah, clavicle. It's a bit tighter. One thing, one easy way to do it is just. Let me just get rid of all of this. It's just draw a line. And then just like do a little triangle and remove the, this, and then you have the clavicle shape. I'm uh, adding a line in the middle because I like to see the line in the middle. It's just my brain in a good way. And then this, these muscles, um, just straighten up this a bit. See, look, here would be like this. The the way the this was this deltoids like encase into the the pecs pectorals. I love the clavicle. It's so easy to just go off of that. Yeah, clavicles are very useful. But the neck neck muscles. This area, I find this area was really awkward when I didn't know what what to do. But you see, if we go to our, the, our shirtless bodies, um, let's just look up our, our, our other friends, Mr. Meat Man, Muscle Man, N not, not him, <laughs> Muscle Anatomy. Art, <laughs> not muscle man. <laughs> but if we see, there's look, there's a muscle, there's a muscle here. Um, yeah, there's meat here, and it kind of like bulges. I don't know, especially when it gets big, it bulges like. 
I usually like doing just this. But this is just me doing my art style, so if you don't if you don't like any of what this is, then you don't have to add it, but I don't know. Then this, the neck, has the little things. But when it's stretched, I usually do it like this. Because it's the skin is stretching over. And then the other Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was new jobbies. But yeah, that's how I usually do the neck. But you don't have to do this, you don't have to do this part. I want to have a mini cure running around in my head when I'm too hard. <laughs> that would be a pain. But yeah. Oh, also, serratus anteriors. I'm going to have a mini version of Katakyu soon enough. <laughs> yep. Katakyu is also good to do. The serratus anteriors. This part, this part is very hard. So, I don't blame you for... Yeah, just I think in the beginning, yeah, serratus anteriors is like really hard. Let me just clean this up a little so I can see what I'm doing. And also get rid of this guy. Goodbye. Oh. But yeah, what I do is um is so this part. Yeah. This part is tough. Underneath the armpit is tough. So if we cough this guy's arm and then just uh, draw the leaf again. little leaf in my head little buddy there's always beautiful butt cheeks there's beautiful beautiful butt cheeks and this foot and um so this part is is like um the way it works is there's like in the back there's these muscles <laughs> the gojo giat <laughs> yes I don't like how the leaf is lifted up. <laughs> but anyways, there's these muscles in the back. If I draw the back, look, it's back here. Look, we just use this back here that we did earlier. So the way I usually do, wait, let's move Mr. Neck. Bro. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. You asked for help, I'm gonna draw a big booty leaf man. But yeah, this is this is the back. The back is I feel like very, is probably one of the most important things to learn if you wanna learn the front torso. <laughs> but yeah. Um The way the back works is like this. And then there's these guys. There's these these guys. I called I always remember them because in Baki they're they call the, the, they do like this training method that makes them demon eyes. So I always remember them as demon eyes, which is kind of dumb. But anyways, then, then the skin, the meat just kind of like, it, it connects here to your body. And then, um, what was this? Is it like, oh, it goes in like this and this, it connects to your body here. These, these like sheets of muscle so I don't know if this makes any sense but yeah and then there's the beautiful butt cheeks big bum and it just kind of just goes into the abyss of the butt crack but this is important to note because this is with a converging point let's get some more space but yeah the little mongus bone but this part here so you, you remember this one the little sheet is very important because it goes it goes um wait let me just draw the rest of the head <laughs> but yeah it goes it goes um it connects here. Zam! But yeah, it goes into like here. It goes into the armpit here. <laughs> Watching. <laughs> it, 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 if anything, it actually doesn't go like that directly. It goes like this. 
and then this is the bicep bicep no it's not these are the abs abs you could do like your abs here and then this is the serratus anterior i usually like drawing it within as you know the same place as the the first row of abs but then it basically just goes into the thing actually no oh no 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 wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute it goes in, in like this but this this sheet of muscle goes over the top and like basically cuts it off if anything it's a bit more like this it cuts it off a lot earlier like this yes it goes like that so if basically like this i'll make this drawing smaller it's a bit it's a bit ugly and i'll cut off his Dick and bum. There we go. I'll just I'll just put him like in the in the ground. He's in the ground now. I wish Gojo had that cheeks in the manga. Yeah. But basically, the meat the meat sheet of the back goes in like this. It goes in like this. And one also important thing to do, or not important, but one minute, music. Okay, music is still going. It's just very quiet. But one, one cheat code to art. Hey, does, <laughs> you've never seen a Gojo Gyat yeah, side story from 2022. Yeah. But a good, a good tip for like doing armpit to just like do black, just like shade it out. Most of the time it's covered in shadow. But yes, yeah, like this. It goes the the sheet. The sheet I was referring to. I think he's even you start seeing the muscle. No you don't. It goes like this. Into the into the armpit black hole. Let's draw his nipples as well. I won't do anything weird. So let's just give him green nipples. Just for like reference sake. I, I, I think nipples are really cool because like the yeah nipples are cool what am I even saying but anyways um for this for the serratus anteriors what you need they're kind of they're they're really hard shape at first but just draw like doodle them a lot and you'll get used to it um they're, they're basically like there's a set of rows there's two rows so there's the first one that usually goes like um, yeah, let me let me consult with my real life images. Yeah, there's two there's two two sets of them. And they go like this one and then coming off of this one, coming off the line you draw this one and then coming off this one you draw the the second one like this and then this and then this it's like zigzag oh bone man hello bone man hello final call stream this is my exam ended i'm late lol oh no worries no worries welcome welcome we um i'm i'm doing some notes for mists art flakist in chat but yeah this is this is how i do serratus anteriors also this part i think i think i have to redraw this because because it is just easier to do like this Let me see if I'm, I'm correct. Maybe I'm just ruining the drawing. Yeah, like this. This part is still something I need to work on. They're like fish scales, yeah. And 
because nobody has serratus enters this developed unless you're malnutrition. Something I like to do is just making them like this, like just hatch them, because then it, it implies that there's skin, like uh, going over them. And you can also do this with um, with abs if the character is like skinny enough. You can do the same with abs. So look, it looks a bit weird these ones though. I think it's because I kind of messed up. And maybe where there's shadows, you can bring in the original form again. Like this. And yeah, just cut it off here. But everyone's body is really weird, so I don't know. For example, some people have this here, and then they have like a muscle here. I've seen, I've seen some people that have this. They have like a muscle here. Or they have like a really big, like, cavity-like space here. But And some people like always drawing that, like uh, Boichi does that, I think. But I usually just like drawing this and then just leaving like a little black diamond or something to indicate that little cavity instead of rendering out the cavity and highlighting it within the anatomy. And yeah, and then on the other side, it's just the same thing. Like this. Dos. Actually, this is very, this is very, this is too close. And just like the, um, just like the, these fellas, the, the, what do you call it? Ow. The pecs, they stretch as well. So like yeah, let's get some actual images for you. Yeah, see look, you can actually feel them because they don't really develop at all unless you're like Hulk. But yeah, it's these. See look how these these are stretching. And technically, they actually link up to every single one of your abs. Which is also another stylistic choice that you might want to add, like this person. So you look, they, they decide to do it like that. But I like to limit my serratus anteriors to the diaphragm. Which is the... This shape. Because the top of your body is just like this shape, yeah? this shape here and the pecs go on top and uh, you know the little fellas on you know they kind of look like gills yeah they're really cool actually I think they're very cool and also this arm is a bit I think you can it's good it's good but I think it's a bit like too bloated like this because you got all the deltoids you got the first and the last is the first one and last one and then the other one is like hidden it's meant to it's like you, you get the idea you get the idea but yeah um i think also maybe the head i don't know if, i don't know if, uh, i asked if you wanted to make the proportions like more accurate to gojo but i didn't i, I didn't remember what you said my bad let me let me let me just make an edit. No, Kojo's head. Yeah, I rushed the arm a little. That was nice. Fish. But but with uh, generally, if you make a character's head smaller, they look older. So if you don't know what to do, or if you, if your character looks really young, or you, you just uh yeah, just make the head smaller. Like, if, for example, if you look at Toji, let's get Toji. Toji is a good example because I was actually designing a character recently. And I just, I just, I was struggling. So then I just gave him Toji proportions and he instantly looked like an adult. Where's, where's a good shot of him? Just 
Yeah, them kids got big heads. Yeah. See that? Let's get towards you. And also, Toji is a very exposed neck, so it's very easy to see one to one. Let me get his head. And just like, boom. Look at that, <laughs> that's weird. I just want his face, I want his neck. So that, boom. And he instantly looks weird, also because his, his looks like a My Hero Academia character. <laughs> Who is this? Gojo as a, a student. See look, he starts, he starts to look like My Hero Academia proportions. But then he just, chirp, and he's back to normal. And yeah, it's, the kind of, it's kind of the same thing with your one, because if you, if you see his head, even just this little bit. Just neck, I'll just fix this neck up. That's true, I need to consider that more. Yeah. So it's good it's always good to look at the actual character and see how big the character the, they draw the heads. Um, the face is very good. So the faces are very good, so I don't need to touch that. Mm. Maybe you probably rush this part as well, right? Because it doesn't doesn't look finished. So I'll just touch up this. Elbow. This is a very robotic looking elbow. This is like Jojo Part 3. Yeah, this is this, and then. Um, I always. I, I've been finding that, like, exaggerating these ones a bit uh, is very good for your arms. If you get into the habit of exaggerating this muscle. Because your arm, this arm, arms are like chupa boomba, bicep, tricep, and then elbow. It's exaggerated elbow, this little guy. But then there's this muscle here. This I think this is actually the only muscle you can grow on your forearm. Because you, most of your forearm is just tendons, and this is the only muscle that like actually, you know, is big enough to grow. I mean, you have other muscles, but they're like they're so small you can't even see them. Then this little, the little thing, and then the Among Us bone. I've recently been trying to think of the arms like weird soda bottles. Yeah, that's a good, a good. It's good thinking up of like rules and stuff to remember things. But yeah, something like this. The deltoids, oh, 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 so you look, whoa, three of them, three fellas, three fellas, yo, what? Bro is three fellas. Bro, bro, bro is three fellas. Oh yeah, this muscle here is this one. And it, and since it's the only one that can actually grow, it's, it's nice if you like, if characters have this part that is like pretty big, it like exudes more manliness, I guess. And like a, um, a more like masculine body. And Gojo definitely has a more masculine body. Yes. I did make him very buff, so. So yeah. It just you can you can obviously do what you want and make some changes here and there. Yeah, this part is fine. This part is fine. Actually, 
This one is very annoying. I, I struggle with this one as well. And also, um, one thing I like doing is uh, making the the mus the the shoulders rounder. It helps like um, make them more, you know, built. And also, I think ooh, there's something wrong with this arm. Let me, let me look at my men. Um, uh, body. The elbow is a very annoying one. Mannequins, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, babe. Uh, I think it's this part is a bit, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's good. And then, um, I guess line. Let's clean this up a little bit so I don't have my obsession. This part is also good, but um, the hand is very good. And the shape of the forearm is very snazzy. Maybe. Maybe like this, just just a tad. I feel like the muscles are such like if you mess up or if you mess up or make something different, it completely like changes the whole thing. And also what I'm doing here I didn't even I didn't even say anything. But this one. This thing here is this little line. It's, it's because the your um triceps, not triceps. What is this called? I'm forgetting my arm anatomy. I need to get like get back to anatomy. What are you called? Yeah, triceps. It's triceps. The triceps. This is like the the shoulder. And then like there's these muscles. This is like the back view. And then there's this because it's um because it's actually like two muscles. Because until I rendered it, it's gonna look. And the elbow was really uh, oh wait, wait. And the elbow was really aggravating me. Yeah, I did it in. Because until I render, it's gonna look weird. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. But yeah, this this muscle is like this, or in the back, whatever. But this muscle is, is like this. But one thing, this is just my personal taste. If you like it like this, then you can go with that. But I like I like exaggerating the shape and doing this, and making it like square. I think Oda, artists like Oda and Horikoshi do that a lot. And then because it's skin, it stretches, so you can do lines like these. To indicate stretching, as you know. And yeah. Just that's what I did here. And then it goes into the mystery black hole armpit. Wheels. I need to get swole, not for aesthetics, but use myself as reference. That's actually my, my motivation to work out most of the time. Is to become the ultimate reference. But yeah, it's very good though. I think maybe elbows are really annoying, so don't blame me for struggling. I also like adding a little vein. That's just me though. <laughs> That's just me, but I like I like adding a little vein on the wrist. It's just me though, you don't have to do that. I'll just draw the rest of the arm. So you know what, what that is. And use. Maybe also. No. For this shape, I think I do this. Because I think meat bunches up here. 
I need to, I need to work more on this stuff. In general, though, something I think is a good is a good way to remember arms. You've probably seen this before, but it's the chain, the chain thing, of how like a chain goes like this, but then this one goes the opposite way. You've probably already seen this before. There's a very, there's a very good, very good uh, like analogy for chains, for for, for arm muscles arm anatomy because if you think about it there's like the bicep and the, the the tricep and then there's like the separating thing I have no at least I don't remember oh okay yeah this is the this is the armpit let's say this is the deltoids um, this is the tricep this is the thing in between the bicep and then this, these, the forearm connects like this. It goes like the opposite and it like kind of connects. It's like two people kissing. It's like two little, little fish things kissing each other. See that? They're kissing and they're shy about it. But that's, that's a good way to remember the, this. And technically then this goes in there. Elbow. You get the idea. Just remember the two little, the two little fish kissing. <laughs> yeah, but in terms of anatomy, I'd say that is maybe maybe the neck needs to be go. So I think I'd move the arm. Wait, where is it? Yeah, just a bit more inwards. I just I think that is all I will do. The extent of my abilities. I don't, I'd maybe actually just. I love saying, oh, this is it, and then I just carry on doing more. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is actually a good point. I do, do this. I'd make it go into the black hole. Because also, um, uh, your... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Your deltoids also end a bit before, and your... Things go into into the inside, and yeah. but most this part is mostly in shadow. This whole part, so I wouldn't. I'd just make it darker. For the sake of being darker, and um, for rendering tips, one thing I'd always say is, for muscles, always think of them like this like this shape like a little a little box that has this there's always two sides to it and it's slightly curved so then for example this the deltoid i'll just do like 50. oh what's the thing for water d i'd um like I, that's why I like the nipples because it's a good, it's a good point of where to to stop like the the thing, the rendering, the shadow. It's like this. I just I usually stop it around here and then that nipple's a bit low. See, look, the nipple's low, so it's looking weird. And then the, the abs are the same thing, just half them, all of them, half them. And the flatter they get, maybe as the as descending order, 
and um, ears like that. And it's the same with the serratus anteriors. If you do something like this, but then they slowly start to cover each other up. So, so yeah. See, look, this part just usually goes into the shadow. I, I'm not going to start rendering this. I don't want to start rendering this. But yeah. That's what I do. Just remember them as even here. Always remember this shape here. It's a good good shape to remember this one. Because each muscle can block out light a little bit. Yeah. And even this it, it the big the big deltoids. Delta no uh pecs would just cover the stratus and tears in a bit of the abs. I'm smelling while you're stepping in. Yes, yes. You can you can figure out like for example here half or where else can I half? Elbow is also a good point because it's literally just this elbow. I return for I require assistance. Oh, what is it, Loki? What do you need assistance with for this? Oh my god, I, I get I get addicted to rendering muscles. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. No 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 I can't do it. I'll save it and I'll send it. I'll send the clip clip file to you as well. It's the most American thing to say. What 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 would you like assistance with, Mr. Loki? Doki, literature club. I'll send it to you on Twitter. I don't. Uh, I'll send it on Discord actually, because I can't. I can't. I can't. Um. I can't. Uh, send. Uh, clip files through Twitter. I'll show you what I've been doing with your device. Okay, okay. I'm about to post a piece, but I have a version with a white outline and a version without. So I'll send you both on Twitter and each other side. Okay. Will do. That's my Discord words. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Where is Mr. Mist? Oh my god, it's lagging a little bit. Where is Mist? Oh, there we go. Um, there you go. There you go. There, I sent it to you, Mist, on Discord. Junkie. Also, if anyone that is joining, this is why I, I, I drew today. I drew the this. I was doing some Okubo studies, and now it's a little Medusa thing. Isn't the best because I'm not really used to going crazy with the stylization, but it's this. What did Loki send me? Okay, white, white outline, and what without? Um. I'd say with, with, with outline, because it helps like pop the characters out. Like um, for example, Luffy's shoe, that he did good with the the white outline. I think that's a good idea. But I think it is also, you know, it it, it just helps the Luffy stand out. In my opinion, it looks really cool though. Very good art, Loki. Very good art. Your line, your line work is actually crazy. Your line works crazy. I need to do some sh YouTube shorts for real. Send updates one on Twitter. Sheesh. Yes. <laughs> this looks good. This looks very good. Let me show you guys. Look what Mist has been cooking. Sheesh. Yeah, it looks good. See, like you did, you did good with the abs and the stratus interiors. Very nice, very nice. Very, very nice, very nice. Very nice. Skew the certified professor. No, I'm not. I'm just a guy. 
I'd say the this this um this this is a bit drooping. I'm sure you'll fix that. You're still working on it. My muscle game has increased by 100% as of today. Yes, yes. The power of cute kind is not to be underestimated. More like the power of medical textbooks. Okay. This Medusa looks very weird. It's a crackhead Medusa. Let me save it. I think, I think I've the tweet half it been tweeted. Nice, nice. I will, I will retweet and gas it up later. I think I I'm just looking at the time. What do I, what do I have to do tomorrow? Tomorrow I don't have anything to do. Yeah, I think I think I'm probably gonna probably gonna end it now. <laughs> probably gonna end it because I I would do I I didn't wanted to draw Black Star as well, but I just don't have time. And I wanna work on a comic a bit before going to bed. And I at least finish the line up. And I have like six panels to do. So. But yeah, let's let's do the final one. Final look. Oh, Sorry if the stream was kind of awkward. Doing um doing uh doing stylization is I find it very hard. Fun stream for a bit. I'm glad you liked it, I'm glad you liked it. Okay, let's draw, let's draw now. Oh, you could do this one, yes, he's gutted. That one's really good. This new piece is, is amazing. I will be here again. Yes, yes. I will be streaming. Next stream will be um, Sunday. And it is another art heist. K Rana. Hey, yo, now. Now I was going mad of this one. Goes a little speedos on. <laughs> Gonna make it even better. Let's make it even better. Love the new avatar, very skelly coded. We'd love to see it. Yes, yes. I'm trying to match my my uh, profile picture I've had since the beginning. We need to cover him up, Zam. Yes, but he will not get covered up. Now he's free, free boy in this country. We've got so many tabs open. Um, uh, Twitch. Okay. Very cute. I've that gut. Yes. Oh, who was online today? Oh, she was not on. Who was 46 centimeters? Oh, 46 centimeters, yeah, very good. They probably don't need, need me to rate them for like 100 views, but who cares? He's cooked, yeah. Yes, there we go. We're rating 46 centimeters. They're doing a commission, Final Fantasy commission. So yes. But yeah, I mean, uh, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to, 
uh, I'm not kind of ending it today because I want to work on a comic walk to get the chapter out next week or the week after because is it, I'm, I'm like on the second half and this uh, yep it's going very well the production just want to you know hammer it out for you guys but thank you thank you for coming to today's stream hope you hope you had fun and I'll, I'll see you on Sunday for another art heist so get your get your crowbars and <laughs> Let's keep basks. I'll see you. I'll see you around, guys. Bye bye. Get Jimbo out. No, Jackie boy. Last minute. Last minute, Jimbo. Water redeem. I'll let Jimbo out. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye.